This video is going to be all about ways to cover a space even in a small backyard. I know you're going to like this. There's a lot to it. I have a really cool secret at the very end of the video I know you're going to like. So watch it all the way through and enjoy small backyard patio cover ideas right now. Talk to you soon. The first project I wanted to feature for our covered patio ideas for a small space is this one. Now with this project, it's one of my favorites to show because the client was dead set on having us attach the structure to the house when we first met. He thought that was the best solution and I strongly recommended to him to do a detached structure in this situation. Now look at the, the distance from the house there to the fence and you can see really that we're not dealing with a very large space. And so we really had limited use of what we could do here. And I encouraged him to consider doing a detached covered structure with a fireplace on the border of the fence. Now in our market here we have to be five feet away from the fence per code. So this is as far out as we can go with the structure. But to me, this is what is needed to be able to have a destination from the house over to a structure. It really maximizes the space in a small area. So take a look at this job. We also did some other features. We did the golf green along the side yard. We did the bar. By the way, this bar definitely maximizes the space in a small little patio here. It's smart to do a dual barbecue area with a bar. It really does add a whole nother destination that you really wouldn't have had if you just put a barbecue here. So consider that and consider things like this, detached structures, destination, and you can even add the pergola like we did here to give structure to the space so again, we're talking about small backyard patio covers and you really can't get smaller than this. But that's really the beauty of these patio covers is they really just fit a function. And the function that they wanted to fit here was the ability to barbecue in all weather. So this is a really nice use of space. You see the, the house there had a small cover currently, but really that just wasn't enough room to maximize dual use space. So we we kind of stole that space from the potential barbecue area and we created built-in benches there. We created that really cool built-in bar. And then we created this destination covered structure. Now it's hard to tell there, but you can actually get from the door all the way to the covered structure without getting rained on if it was raining out. So underneath that structure, you can do lots of different things. In this situation, we just did the you know, barbecue. You could even do a little refrigerator, some storage. So this is a great little idea for a small backyard covered patio. So here's another example of a very small backyard where we did an attached covered structure. Now look at what this looked like before we did any work. Here you see almost a ridiculously small little covered area. But what are you supposed to do in such a tiny little covered space? You could hardly have enough room for even a couple of chairs underneath there, let alone an outdoor living space. So what we did here with our design we use the fireplace for screening under the current cover. So that created one destination. Obviously that whole space we added the TV and the whole entertaining area underneath the current cover. But then we added the bump out, the gable style structure 
we did the barbecue with a bar. Now, I can't understate the importance of adding a bar in a small space if you can squeeze it in. And there's always ways to do it. People flock to a bar. For whatever reason, they're just always around a bar, even when it's inside the house. So doing a little outdoor bar, even in a small space, creates wonderful destination. And then obviously with the barbecue there, the whole outdoor kitchen, and then even though it's a small space, right next to that, we created a whole fire pit destination as well. So multiple outdoor living destinations, even in a very small backyard, this is what you want to go for in your space. So here's another idea for a small backyard cover patio. So with these backyard covered, I just wanna let you know that you probably should get a good design for the space. You're investing a lot. Once you do a cover in your space, that's a good investment. The last thing you wanna do is put it in the wrong spot or make a mistake in the process. So get a design, have somebody help you. We would love to help you. We do nationwide design. We would be able to help you all the way from the start to the completion of the design and give it to you to be able to make sure that it's all done right. So if you need some help with that, let us know, but we'll get back to these ideas right now. So here's a very popular project on our portfolio. This is a smaller backyard. And what we were able to do is just maximize the space to the client's desires. So we packed it full of really neat, fun stuff. So we have the destination hip and ridge covered structure there. That's right out of their double doors. Now that pulls you right out with the fireplace in the background. It has heaters, it has speakers, really all you can ask for in an outdoor living space. But they did add this amazing pizza oven. Now that was right outside of the covered structure. So again, it's another dual use. So that's a kind of another hangout zone. You can imagine people around that pizza oven. But then you have the outdoor barbecue area and then the dining area between the house and the covered structure. So again, you've heard this so many times, but the detached structure adds multiple reasons, multiple destinations, multiple purposes to get outside. And that's why I love a detached structure, even in a smaller backyard space like you're seeing here. In this small backyard, the patio cover we used was a pergola. Now pergolas are wonderful in a small space at creating an anchoring purpose. So a nice patio cover with the pergola, with the fireplace there, it really serves as that destination that we always talk about and it grabs you from your house and pulls you outside. Now, if you can probably see here, over in the distance we have that grape arbor that we had planned on taking over the pergola. And this will provide wonderful shade options in the summertime once that grapevine takes over the pergola. And then create a little bistro set right outside of the pergola. And again, serves as a nice anchor and another place for people to hang out at. So another great design idea for your small backyard would be a pergola to anchor the space. One of my favorite smaller backyard spaces is this one. We created this covered structure outside of their house really because we wanted to tuck it underneath those windows, but we wanted to also match, match the architecture of the house. So we kind of created this neat gable style with a wing effect covered structure. But I just love featuring this because it's a smaller space that we really packed a lot into. We got the fireplace in there. I love that the fireplace also acted as a screen. It's hard to tell, but the proximity to the neighbor there is very, very close. But really when you're inside the structure enjoying the fireplace, you don't realize how close you are to the neighbor. Right behind you in that structure is the barbecue area. And standing at the barbecue area, you get a look out into a beautiful backyard dining space. And then right next to that is the bar. Obviously, if you're in the house looking out, you get to see the open style bar that goes right through to that little water feature that we installed right below the bar. 
So when you're at the bar, you also get the that sound of that moving water, that nature kind of gives you the, this, the feeling that you're not in a neighborhood, but you're in the middle of nature. And then again, we got the fire pit as a destination out, out um, kind of strategically placed there to be able to see from the windows and the door. So again, this is just one of my favorite jobs. Lots of purpose, lots of destination. I love using uh, elevation so you get different elevations in this landscape and you just have a lot of things to move you from one space to the other and just a nice use of space all around. So in this smaller backyard we did a lean-to style structure walking out of those doors you walk over to your structure which is almost like a detached structure but this one we attached to the house Underneath the windows there, we created that fireplace destination. So we did a built-in kitchen within the walls of the landscaping. So we needed to install these retaining walls. They were very important as it pretty much was holding up that garage on the far side. Here's another beautiful idea for a smaller backyard space that has a covered patio. We use the covered patio here as an end point of the landscape. This is a lean-to style structure, but we also did this nice seat wall with the lighting and a fire pit. You don't always see a fire pit underneath a structure, but if it's gas, it works wonderful. And you can use it as a nice destination again. So a covered fire pit destination at the end of the landscape. They were able to do a lot more. They got the hot tub in there, they got the fire pit with the seat wall. They had kind of a long, narrow space, but we were able to pack it with a lot of uh, outdoor destination because we had a good design. So I hope you guys enjoyed this small backyard patio cover ideas. There's a lot to this. You can really go wrong. So I hope that this educated you. I hope that you saw some value in this. If you did, would you mind letting me know which patio cover was attracted to you and you liked? It helps the community out when we just can know, hey, which one you liked and just comment below. That'd be great. Also, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. And if you could hit that bell notification, that'd be great because you get the videos as soon as they come out. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. We'll talk to you in the next video.